Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin. And kindly, you have not subscribed. Kindly, I want to give you two seconds to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. The reason why I want you to subscribe or I request you to subscribe is because in this channel we get to share matters medical in a simple language which you, you many people can understand. Because here we don't use medical jargon, but we share very vital information such as this so that we get to, to reach a lot of many people and also to get people get the very vital information uh, such as this. My name is Vincent. Vincent is not your average nurse because in this channel we get to share matters medical in a simple language which everyone gets to understand. And also, guys, I want to encourage you to share in our uh, down in the comment section. Kindly, we have very few comments. I want to encourage you to give a lot of comments. Please like the video. Uh, share the video, the the videos uh, generally, so that get, people can get to understand and also know about us. Today, we're going to talk about matters food. Yeah, matters food because that's our attention now. So that's what uh, I'm getting a lot of DMs we talk about. And today we're going to talk about eight foods you should avoid uh, so that you can lose uh, body fat uh, fast. So matters uh, overweight is a very uh, big thing for most of us or the most of the population. Uh, like numbers are so worrying that uh, when and when you have a lot of weight above normal you are predisposed to a lot of issues so today we're going to share about the eight foods you should avoid uh, so that you may lose your body fat very very fast and i'm going to talk about how you are going to manage your weight and also how you are going to prevent prevent that uh, a lot of uh, body fats so guys sit back and watch so losing body fat effectively uh, involves a combination of uh, various things. Number one is balanced diet. Number two is about regular physical activity. And also very important is about uh, lifestyle changes. So we talk about balanced diet. We talk about irregular physical activity and also lifestyle changes. So avoiding certain foods that can contribute to the weight gain is very vital in which can, which can significantly aid in the process so here are the eight foods you should avoid to lose body fat very fast number one is what you call sugary beverages and when we talk about sugary beverages we have things like sodas uh, like fruit juices energy drinks so because why you should avoid them they have high in added sugars and calories with little uh, which with little or to of uh, nutritional value so they can spike blood sugar levels and increase the cravings so guys as much as possible let us avoid sugary uh, uh, foods uh, especially our beverages things like soda fruit juices and energy drinks at that particular point number two is about refined carbohydrates refined carbohydrates example is the white bread white rice pastries and also many breakfast cereals so that uh, so refined carbohydrates they are not very healthy things like white bread white rice pastries and also uh, many breakfast cereals in the supermarkets so we should avoid that one if you want to lose your weight very fast why should we avoid them because uh, they are quickly digested and also they can cause rapid spikes and drops in blood sugar leading to increased dung and also overeating. Number three is about fried foods. Yes, fried foods. And this is what most of the people will like, especially the French fries, fried chicken, potato chips. So fried foods are not very conducive. Why? Why should we avoid them? Because they, high, they are high in unhealthy fats and also calories. Fried foods can contribute to uh, inflama inflammation and also other health issues. So fried foods, 
uh, can be a, a challenge to you that's what you should also avoid if you want to lose that uh, body fat very fast number four is about processed snacks processed snacks and when we talk about processed snacks we're talking about things like cookies crackers pretzels and also packaged snack uh, cakes so these uh, processed snacks why should we avoid them because they are high in refined uh, flour, sugars, and unhealthy fats. These uh, foods are calorie dense and also lack essential nutrients. So processed snacks can also pose a very great challenge to weight loss or lose, losing that uh, body fat. So it's very essential that processed snacks, we get to avoid them as much as possible if we want to lose that body fat. Number five is about sugary, uh, sugary treats, uh, treats. And when we talk about uh, sugary treats, we're talking about what you call candy, uh, chocolate bars, and also ice cream. Uh, because uh, they are loaded with a lot of sugar and unhealthy fats, they can contribute to the weight gain and also poor metabolic health. So for, the, for those of us, including me, who like uh, chocolate bars and ice cream, is high time you work on it on yourself so that you really regulate it because it can contribute to a lot of body fats high calorie about when we talk about high calorie uh, alcoholic drinks we talk about things like beer we talk about cocktails with sugary mixers because they, they are high in empty calories and also can lower inhibitions leading to overeating and also alcohol can slow down metabolism and also in the fat loss so very key high calorie alcohol drinks like beer cocktails with sugar mixers they can also contribute to they can lead to they can have a challenge for you losing that body fats number seven is about high fatty dairy products and when we talk about high uh, fatty dairy products we're talking about things like full fat cheese we are talking about cream and also butter because why should we avoid them? They contain high uh, saturated fats and calories. Opt for lower fatty daily alternatives to reduce calorie intake. So things like full fat cheese, cream and also butter, they can also, they can also give you a challenge on losing that uh, body fat. Number eight is about fast food. When we talk about fast food, we are talking about uh, what you call burgers, pizza, also hot dogs. So why should we avoid them, especially when we want to lose the body fats? Typically high in calories, they are high in calories, and also unhealthy fats, and also sodium. So fast food can contribute to the weight gain and also poor overall health. So guys... Those are the eight uh, foods which are, are, not, are not health for ourselves. So on, I'm going to give you some tips on how to have a healthy diet. Number one, eat whole, uh, whole uh, foods. Uh, eat whole foods. Focus on whole and processed foods such as vegetables, fruits, and also lean proteins, whole grains, and also healthy fats. Also controlled portions. Be mindful for portion size to avoid overeating and also even when consuming healthy options. It doesn't mean when you are eating healthy, you overconsume also because that one also can give you a lot of uh, problems. So balance, balance, control your portions. Also very key, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water and also throughout the day. Sometimes thirst may be mistaken for anger. So be very careful. Uh, taking a lot of water can also help you lose that uh, body weight, body weight, body fats. Regular physical activity incorporate a mix of cardio cardiovascular and also strength training, flexibility exercises into your routine. By avoiding these foods and adopting health eating habits, you can create more favorable environment of fat loss and also overall healthy improvement. So. Uh, on management, we talk about managing a diet uh, for, to lose body, body fat effectively. It involves comprehensive approach, combination of dietary uh, adjustment, physical activity and also lifestyle changes. The key strategies involved in this is about balanced diet where we involve the macronutrient balance, where we ensure proper balance of proteins, carbohydrates and healthy fats. 
aim of lean proteins, whole grains, and also healthy fats, uh, like those from avocados, nuts, and also olive oil. Also, calorie deficit, where create a calorie deficit by consuming fewer calories than you, uh, than you burn. This is essential for fat loss. Uh, so also number two is about me, me, meal planning and preparation. So plan ahead, plan your meals and snacks for a week. This helps you avoid impulsive eating and also ensures you have health options available. Also prepare meals. Cook meals at home to control ingredients and also portion sizes. Batch cooking can save time and also maintain uh, consistency. Portion control, serving size is very key. Where be mindful of success to avoid overeating, use smaller plates and measure portions if necessary, and also eat slowly. Taking time to eat and serve, uh, and serve your food, eating slowly helps you recognize when you are full at that particular point. Uh, and also number four is about healthy food choices. Whole foods, is, they are very key. Focus on whole and processed foods like uh, fruits, vegetables, and also lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. Avoid empty calories, especially steer clear from foods and drinks with added sugars, unhealthy fats, and also refined carbs. Hydration is very key. Drink water. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Uh, sometimes that is mistaken for anger, so that's very key. Drink, limit uh, sugar drinks, especially avoid sugar beverages and sodas, which can add unnecessary uh, calories to yourself. Mindful eating is very key. Pay attention to anger. Eat when you are angry and stop when you are satisfied. Very key. Avoid eating out of boredom or emotional triggers. Avoid distractions. Eat without distraction like TV or smartphones to focus on your meal and also prevent overeating. That guy is, is very key. Well, we like sometimes eating while watching television or on, your, on our phones. That way you may find yourself overeating or not eating properly. So when it is time for eating, train even your babies or the people in your house that if it is time for eating, we focus on eating, not on your computer while eating or doing other, other things so that you focus on eating. Regular physical activity is very key where exercise routine, we say about 150 minutes of our moderate to intensity aerobic activity each week along with muscle strengthening activities on two or more days a week. Also stay active, increase overall activity levels by taking the stairs instead of the lift, walking more and reducing sedentary time. So very key. Um, also tracking progress, monitor intake, keep food diary or use an app to track what you eat and your physical activity. This will help you to be accountable and identify areas of uh, improvement. Regular way. Ins where weigh yourself regularly but not obsessively to monitor your progress. So keep in mind that weight can fluctuate due to various factors. So monitor your weight by uh, regular weigh ins is very key. Also, support and accountability find support, uh, engage with friends and family or support group uh, for encouragement and also motivation. Professional guidance is very key. Also, consider cons uh, consulting your dietitian or nutritionist for personalized advice. And also support also sleep and stress management is very key guys uh, the normally uh, mental health is very key in, in weight management so get enough sleep aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night poor sleep can sl disrupt the hormones that regulate hunger and also appetite so sometimes you may find yourself overeating or under eating if you are under the the hormones are disrupted if you don't rest well at night manage stress Practice stress reducing techniques. I always talk about yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises. Also, chronic uh, uh, stress can lead to emotional eating and also weight gain. So, by implementing strategies, you can also prevent, effectively manage the, the diet and also lifestyle support uh, to improve uh, the overall health. Consistency and patience are very key as a sustainable change oven yield the best long term. Uh, results. So those are the way in which you can manage your diet so that you may lose that bad fat from your body. So sometimes we have uh, complications which are associated with the poor diet. Number one, we have nutri nutrient uh, deficiencies 
which are caused especially with the strict uh, calorie restriction or elimination of certain foods. So prevention also can be by ensuring a well-balanced diet, including variety of foods to meet, to meet all nutrient needs, consider consulting your nutritionist at that particular time. Number two is also prevention mechanism is uh, muscle loss. Uh, yeah, number two complication is muscle loss. And this can be caused by calorie deficit without adequate protein intake or resistant training. So prevention includes sufficient proteins in your diet and incorporate strength training exercises to pre preserve muscle mass. Metabolic slowdown can also be another complication which is caused by prolonged calorie restriction and can lead to low, slower metabolism as the body adapts to low calorie intake. So the, with this, prevention avoid extreme uh, restrictions and consider incorporating uh, referred refeed days or diet uh, break to maintain metabolic uh, rates. Very important also, psychological stress can also come in. This can also come in as a complication also, where we may have strict dietary. It can lead to feelings of deprivation and also stress and anxiety uh, around uh, food. Also, the prevention part of it, adopt a flexible diet approach, allow occasional treats and focus on overall health eating patterns rather than strict rules, uh, director. You can hear that. So also, binge eating or binge eating, this is caused by restriction, uh, which leads to over episodes of overeating or binge eating as a response to deprivation. The main thing is about uh, practice mindful eating, avoid overly restrictive diet, and the seek support if you struggle with the binge eating or binge eating. Hormonal imbalances can also be another complication with this. Where it can be caused by extreme restriction to the to calorie restriction, rapid rapid weight loss, and also can disrupt hormonal balance, particularly in women. So aim for gradual weight loss. Don't aim at sudden weight loss, guys. It's very key. Ensure adequate intake of healthy foods, uh, healthy fats, and overall calories to support hormonal health. Another complication which can also come up is about uh, fatigue and low energy which comes about with insufficient calorie intake or lack of essential nutrients. And to prevent this, ensure you consume enough calories and balanced diet to meet your energy needs, monitor your activity levels and adjust your diet accordingly. Another complication which you may have is digestive issues, which come about with the change in diet, particularly the low high intake of fiber or sudden elimination of certain foods. And to prevent this, gradually adjust your diet and stay hydrated Include a variety of fiber sources to support digestive health. Another another complication is about plateaus. A plateaus is caused by the body adapts to lower calorie intake, leading to stalled weight loss. So mix up your diet and exercise routine so that you incorporate different types of physical activity and consider adjusting your calorie intake uh, periodically. That is very key. Also, social and lifestyle changes is also another thing which can come about. This is caused by dietary changes which may be challenging to social, social situations during travel or with a bus uh, lifestyle, so uh, with, with a busy lifestyle. So to prevent this, plan ahead of your meal, make healthy choices when dining out and communicate your goals with your friends so that they may not be surprised on the sudden change of your, your foods and also communicate the same with your family so that they get to understand why you are making certain decisions. Now, another, another complication is about eating disorders which is caused normally by restrictive diet so which tr trigger and also can also come up with uh, things disorders like anorexia and bulimia, nervosa or orthorexia. So to prevent this is focus on a balanced and healthy diet approach to eating. Seek professional help if you have a history of, of or are at risk of eating uh, disorders. Emotional and mental health is another uh, complication. The stress of uh, diet and also body image issues can affect mental health. To prevent this, practice self-care. Seek uh, support from friends, family or professionals and focus on overall well-being rather than just weight loss. While managing diet uh, for fat loss uh, can be very effective, it is important also to be mindful of the, of the potential complications 
like uh, also an adopting balanced diet should be sustainable to diet and exercise seeking professional guidance and also listening to your body needs to help mitigate the risks and also support the long-term uh, success and also health at the end of the day so set realistic goals guys so like aim for gradual sustainable weight loss of like 0.5 k to 1 kg per week that's very key like one to two pounds in a week that's very reasonable and also realistic goals are more achievable and reduce the risk of extreme measures that can lead to complications balanced diet the, the best approach in which you can use is focus on a balanced diet that includes all food groups like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and also healthy fats. The reasoning behind this is about providing essential nutrients, support over our health, and also reduce the risk of uh, nutrients, nutrients uh, deficiencies. Also, moderate calorie restriction is very key. Why the approach is about moderate calorie deficit. Use about 500, 500 to 1,000 calories per day through a combination of diet and also exercise. The reasoning behind this is to avoid extreme calorie restriction and also which can lead to metabolic slowdown and also nutrient deficiencies. Regular physical activity is another approach in which one can use. So in cooperate with the aerobic exercises like walking, uh, that's brisk walking, jogging and also cycling. Strength training also like uh, 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 weight lifting or body weight exercises is very key. The reasoning behind this is uh, support fat loss, preserve the muscle mass and also improve overall fitness and also metabolic health. Also monitor the portions is also another strategy in which be mindful of portion sizes to avoid overeating, especially calorie dense foods. Reasoning behind this is to help the calorie intake and promote awareness of eating habits. Stay hydrated, that's very key also. The approach is the drink plenty of water throughout the day. They help maintain the body hydration, support metabolism, and also reduce uh, cravings for mistaken for anger. Avoid extreme diets like approach, steer clear of fatty diets or extreme approaches that uh, pro, uh, prom promise uh, rapid weight loss. So we have a lot of uh, theories out there about uh, rapid weight loss don't be avoid extreme dieties like those ones these dieties are often unsustainable and also can lead to nutritional deficiencies metabolic imbalances and other health complications at the end of the day guys mindful eating is another approach which is very key the the thing about this is about paying attention to anger and also fullness cues or cues the reason behind this is to reduce the risk of binge eating and also promote health relationship with food. Seek professional guidance approach is consult with your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian and also or a healthcare provider before starting weight loss plan is very key. The reasoning behind this is that uh, they provide uh, personalized guidance according to your need to monitor the progress and also address the potential health side effects of the same or health concerns. Also very key guys, mental health is very key in weight loss, like I've mentioned. Manage stress and sleep very well. Seven to nine hours of sleep is very key. Yoga, meditation, deep breathing exercises are very key also. The reasoning behind this is uh, stress and lack of sleep may affect anger hormones and metabolism, so impacting the weight loss efforts. So managing stress and sleep is very key at that particular point. Long-term lifestyle changes is very key guys. So focus on sustainable lifestyle changes rather than short-term short -term diets. So promote overall health and prevent weight gain after achieving initial fat loss goals is very key. Monitor progress and adjust. Track your food intake, physical activity and weight regularly. The reason behind this is to allow you to assess and also progress, identify areas of improvement and also make necessary adjustments to your plan. By following preventive strategies, we, you can effectively uh, manage diet for fat loss and widely minimizing the risk of complications. So remember that the individual response to dietary changes vary from one to another one. So it is important to listen to your body and also seek professional advice as needed, guys. So set realistic goals is very key. Balanced diet is very key. Regular physical activity is very key. Monitoring your body 
the portion of your foods staying hydrated is very very key avoiding extreme uh, diets is very key mindful eating is very key seeking professional advice is very key managing stress and sleep is very key long-term lifestyle changes is very key guys monitoring your progress and adjusting accordingly is also very key by implementing the strategies of losing uh, body fat uh, you can effectively manage your diet uh, fat while promoting overall health and minimizing the risk of uh, complication associated with the weight and also uh, remember uh, on the efforts of uh, weight loss remember that individual responses with dietary changes may vary so what you can do and also what i can do we can't lose weight at the same time there are other factors which are involved that's why you need to involve your you you listen to your body changes your body and also adjust your approach to your approach as needed that's why you need to involve the professional help of the dietitian also to help you as your healthcare provider to guide you accordingly on this uh, weight loss or fat loss uh, effectively guys the channel is Nazvin. my name is vincent vincent is not your average nurse this is where we get to discuss matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand and we don't use a lot of medical jargon that's why uh, we want to like this video those that use youtube can recommend it to the larger population because any anybody any lay person can also any person who is not in the medical field can get to understand this knowledge because we don't need to make it more complex uh, in any way because we want as much as many people to get this and normally this that's this kind of information is uh, paid for but you offer it for free here so that you get to understand and also take care of your body because i care for you very much guys welcome and also welcome to our next video thank you very much director i'm out man